Are you ready for the unboxing of the new Atom Sack X24 Pro? So what we have here is the new Atom Sack X24 Pro. And there's quite a few things I'm really excited about this for this unit. And you'll see why as we are unboxing this. Of course, like I said, we got all of our normal stuff. Yeah, see what this is. Ah, it's our detachable screen, which I'm a fan of. Of course, we always got safety glasses. Now, with this unit, as we're unboxing it, which does not want to come unbox. There's one thing I'm most excited about on this unit. And that is, I can't get it out of the box. <laughs> As we struggle, it's already all together. Only thing we gotta do to this is put our laser head on. So what we have here is the Atomsec X24 Pro, which comes in a nice, sturdy, compact package. Everything you need to start engraving. It's a one-piece metal frame, which means there's no assembly or no calibrations that you need to do to this. It, like I said, right out of the box, all you gotta do is attach this laser head and you're good to go. Now this laser, it does come with a 24 watt diode head on here, which means you're able to cut just about any type of wood you're wanting. You cut through solid acrylics. You can't do clear acrylic. Cut through leathers, papers, just about majority of the items you're gonna need for the hobby aspect of it. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to do anything clear. You're not gonna be able to do metals, no glass. But this little thing, show you what all it can do. Now, before I forget, I did mention it can't cut metals, but we can engrave on stainless steel with this. Just a reminder, so you do know that, I said, so you are able to engrave on them Yeti cups that everyone has or the Stanleys, whatever your preference is. Now today, I'm not gonna be doing that. We're just gonna be doing some pretty basic stuff with this, just to show you what this little machine is capable of doing. Now, with this, there's a few different ways you can do it. We can use our cell phone or smartphone, download an app, it's all Wi-Fi, or we can put whatever files on a memory stick, come through here and select whatever file we want on their touch screen. Or, of course, you can always just use your standard light burn or GLBR and do the same thing to control this machine. And like I said, with this machine, we do have the built-in air control as well. It's something that whenever you are doing any type of cutting, it is good to have. Now, as we are setting this up for engraving, unfortunately, it does have this block. It's not built into the head. But we do got to line this up. And as you see, it shows where we're going to set it for engraving or cutting. We're going to set this up for engraving because the first thing I want to do is engrave a picture. Now, you see, we got this going already back here. This is one of my nice little owl prints. It's got a lot of high detail in it. Just something to see what this machine can actually do. Right now, we do have the cover off just for filming purposes. Normally I'd have a my great carve enclosure over this, but I wanted to get some video of this engraving so y'all could check it out.
Well, as always, we know we have great results when we're engraving. Just about anything we engrave. These machines these days, they're just smart and light burn makes stuff so easy to use. I like the detail. Little bit of haziness on there, but like I said, this is a 24 watt diode laser, so it does have a bigger point than your smaller diodes. But the 20 in that 20 watt range is my preferred diode because it does phenomenal at cutting and really good at engraving as well. So you don't have to worry about that 40 watt if you're just trying to just constantly burn stuff or have a second one with a five watt where you're just engraving. This right here is that nice middle ground. Let's do some more engraving, but let's try it out on some great carved acrylic. Now what we got on here right now, like I said, it is a two-tone acrylic that I get from Great Carve. Like I said, what I have on here it's got a black top and a white back. Granted, this one's yellow right here, but the one that's on the machine is a white back. Now, when you're doing this, you do want to make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. I do have my shop bay doors open with the exhaust fans going right now, just due to the fact that I do not have the cover on this just for video purposes. You do not want to breathe this acrylic whatsoever. So, we're going to let this do something. I'm going to put the time-lapse camera on here to catch part of it. Hopefully the battery doesn't die this time. And that way y'all can see how everything looks. As you saw in that time lapse, it cut this out right here with no issues. Like I said, and I do like this two-tone acrylic due to the fact, like I said, they have multiple different colors where we can burn off whatever we don't want and we have whatever color we want showing through. Like I said, and they do have, you've seen me use on other videos, their acrylics are just, and this is the same way with their, like their brushed copper, are there brushed aluminum overall this laser did a nice job handling it but it's time to bump it up so what i have here is some 10 millimeter wood now as you notice i don't have a honeycomb in here i am just using some slate pieces to raise this up off of it that way as it burns through the stuff can drop or have air movement where it can go all the way through there because if it's laying flat on this it's not good and it's going to make the machine work harder you're going to get a lot of extra burn marks that you don't want on there so i just found something to raise this up now they do offer some honeycombs i didn't get one with this unit and the honeycombs i have they're a little bit bigger than I wanted for this, for filming purposes. But let's go on and get a nice little, really intricate cutout. Y'all have seen me do this before. Like I said, this can really show you how well this machine can cut out. Now with this being such thick and being bamboo, we really have our speed way slow on this, but we wanna make sure we get good penetration. We want to go through all that glue or whatever that is in this bamboo. As you can see underneath, right through here, you can see how it is burning through that bamboo with ease. I do have this at 95% power uh, and four millimeters per second speed. Now, this did take quite a while on this machine. Due to the fact, how slow we had to run it, but we wanted to get a great outcome. And then I already went through and I pushed out the small pieces and as you see we got a really nice intricate pattern like i said y'all seen me do this before and this really can show how detailed we can get 
on these laser machines. Like I said, this Atomsec X24 Pro has just been a hoss all day today in the shop. Uh, like I said, it knocked out some great carving, some acrylic cutting and carving, engraving, and just some straight engraving on 10 millimeter wood, 10 millimeter bamboo. And that, the bamboo I used, like I said, it's actually a cutting board that I got off of Amazon and it can take some abuse. Now y'all might ask, who is this laser for? This laser right here is for someone that is beginning and in, getting into the laser engraving. Cause like I said, this thing comes put together. You're not having to sit there and tinker with belts. Make sure all your, everything is lined up properly. All your tensions are good. Right out of the box, all you gotta do, install that laser head, plug in to uh, airline and one cable, and it makes it real simple. Once you have your art, you can even buy stuff off Etsy ready to go, where you just put on your memory stick and bam, you're engraving or cutting in just a few minutes. Now with Adam Sec, like I said, you kept hearing me mention, I do recommend using the cover. They do have this unit in a enclosed uh, enclosure for it. Like I said, I didn't get one, but that's because I have other stuff for enclosures. But they have this, and Adam Sack has a wide line of stuff. Like I said, they probably have more lasers out there than just about any other laser engraving company I've seen. Like I said, there's so many different models to choose from. Like I said, this is my second Adam Sack here in my shop. And so far, I'm highly impressed with it. Like I said, I knew it was gonna do well. And I knew I was gonna have no issues out of it. Like I said, this is something we're gonna set up somewhere off in here where all we're doing is engraving pictures or something for whoever comes into my shop, Texas Laser Works. Since you are here, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It definitely helps me out. Now, if you want to keep seeing more what this Atomsec X24 can do, leave a comment down there. Let me know what you think about Have you ever messed with Atomsec as well? Like I said, this is my second one. I had their X7, and now I got the X24 Pro right here. And I like them. What do you think about them? Till next time, y'all take it easy.